cool beans. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here with AI Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. Whoa, a PlayStation game in months. Woo. Um, I'm just finishing up setting up my, let's see, difficulty. Uh, I'm gonna do this normal. I don't need easy story. No, I want the QTEs. Somnium. Right amount of tension, interacting times normal, retry count three. Yeah, I'll just do it to normal. And then, yeah, I think I finished setting up all these settings. Actually, BG no. BGM at seven, I don't want it to be too loud. Sound effects, voice, volume, cursor. I'll have to see if I need to adjust the camera speed, because I'm a weak baby. Um. Font size medium. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna leave the um the voice options as English. Cause I played it as English last time and I'm gonna play it as wait, I just did this now. What? Okay. Whatever. Standard, standard. This is fine. Game features autosave. Cool cool cool. I'm sorry if you hear my fan in the background, it's just way too hot in my room and I want to make sure my PS4 doesn't turn off because it's overheating. Story's a work of fiction. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. A Strange Tale, Converge, Chapter Zero. February 10th or October 2nd? Whoa! It's Boss and... Where am I? Who are you? You okay, Ryuki? Alright, let's keep going. Next question. In Indian mythology, what is the name of the half-god, half-beast spirits that imbibe sense and are known for their musical ability? I have no idea. Would you like to view the tutorial? Yes. Inspecting people and objects will progress the story. <laughs> I love that sprite, it's so cute! You can freely move the cursor and camera. First, look around and set the cursor on objects that interest you. Boss interests me. <laughs> Look, what was the question again? What am I doing here? Where am I? What am I doing here? Just press the button already. You see that button on the table, right? Push it and you get to answer the question. Boss, you didn't age what? a day. You're joking, right? What are you talking about? In Indian mythology, that imbibes that if you know the answer, spit it out. I don't know the answer. Okay, so right control stick for the camera. A uh, big monitor. A monitor. <laughs> uh, um, sign. A signboard. Pool. I'ma be. Faith to. Faith to face. Rokujikan. Can't read that. <laughs> but six o'clock. Or six hours. Host. Who are you? <laughs> you feeling all right there, Mr. Ryuki? And why do you look like that? Like what? Ah, I don't need to hear the question Indian again, but wait, wait, wait. remember, the other teams can. It's that button. Cool, 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 cool. Um, monitor. A monitor. <laughs> monitor. A monitor. Door. A door. <laughs> you don't say. Big camera. A camera. Uh, long table. A long table. I'm going to inspect everything possible because in um the first game there was there were a couple of trophies you got for just um looking at things so i don't want to miss anything a step ladder by the way i have not looked up any info about this game this is my first time playing it um wait there was a green there was a green where are you <gasps> a knife oh a kettle a kettle um i didn't look oh <coughs> I didn't look up any trophy info or anything. 
It would appear that I'm on a quiz show as one of the contestants. The person asking the questions must be the host. But why is he all blue? Maybe he's feeling down. <laughs> he seems to be the host. Okay. Boss. Uh, auto log menu. Access many functions such as file, flowchart, and options from this menu. The game has autosaves, but you can save the game whenever you want. If you want to exit the game, you can go back to the tile screen from top menu located on the bottom left. So, evaluation performance review of police work, check grades, Tama's room, change Tama's costume and receive life counseling flowchart. No chart. Flowchart will allow you to check the flow of the story and branching places will be populated with chapters as you progress the story. When you select chapter from the destination list, you can jump to the different points in the story. <gasps> ah, it's Aiba! I am here. Verge. Okay. Oh, so this guy's the other um, main character. So it is February 10th. Cool, cool, cool. Evaluation is this way. Do, 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 do. You can check your evaluation by performing certain actions during the story. Achievements will be unlocked and your inspector rank will go up. High ranks earn better prizes. Ooh, we get prizes now. Oh, so I guess these are like in-game achievements. Um, Tama's room. See that? Escaped. Do, do, do. File investigation documents. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, six years ago. Okay, it wouldn't have anybody because I don't have anything. Persons present, appendix, trivia, manual. What happened six years ago? Okay, I think that's all I can do in the menu. Yeah, file the Thomas room. Options save. Okay. I don't have any bonus of eyeballs obtained. Ew. Okay. Um. Alright, so let's hit the answer button. That's the answer button for the quiz. Oh, that's Tama. Why don't you press it? Tama? You mean this button? Yeah. You'd better hurry, or the other teams are gonna answer before you. But I don't know the answer. There we go! Team Popo was the quickest. And your answer is... Place your cursor on the host and try answering the quiz questions. I don't know! Gandharva, Satyr, Date. I'm gonna say Gandharva? Oh, cool! That is correct! The answer is Gandharva. Team How's the Popo other one seems too to um, European. Answer. Good job, Ryuki. Keep it up. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's keep going then, shall we? Next question. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? No. Uh, what? No, no, not you, Mr. Ryuki. This question is for the person on the other side. What? Uh, who was that? Huh? <laughs> Why well, ask about that? Hurry now, your answer, please. The show. This is the Faith to Face Special, a six hour quiz show live stream marathon. Have you forgotten? I hear the, the question. question easy, right? I don't need to hear the question. Boss, what a strange quiz. So? Seems like a normal quiz to me. I thought I heard a voice just now. Yes. Yes. The new Cyclops serial killings. The questions in this quiz aren't aimed at you, Ryuki, they're for you. On the other side. Ah, so they're trying to break the fourth wall. I don't understand what you're saying. It's for me. I'll have to sing next to me. <laughs> uh, the host who's all blue. Okay. Oh, and Team Popo presses the button. You must be ready to answer. Why doesn't anyone else try to answer? Ah, but before you do, I want you to take this question very seriously. The new Cyclops serial killings, the incident in which many victims got their eye gouged out and murdered. Are you or are you not familiar with it? I'm not. This is 
if we can dig into the details of that incident in the coming six days. In other words, we're asking if we can give you spoilers for the first game. Oh, I know the first game. But don't worry. Even if you don't know anything about it, it won't affect how you progress through this game. The sound of serial killers and what you're about to experience? They have nothing to do with each other. Promise. Then why- uh, No, that's a lie, because it's the new Cyclops serial so please, killings. just tell me honestly. Are you familiar with the new Cyclops serial killings? Oh, so the new Cyclops serial killings were the first game? Yes, I am. An answer button. Oh, I have to uh, click on the host. I am. Are you sure? Don't be lying now. I have a save file. Let's you can give check. You a simple test just to make sure. Oh, but I don't remember anybody's names or whatever. The one who resolved the new Cyclops serial killings was Kaname Date of Abyss. On the final day of that investigation, someone was shot in the leg by the culprit. Who was that? Mother someone? flipping! I don't remember anyone's name. No need to give me their last name. First name only, please. We're shot in the leg. Uh... Oh my gosh! No, I played it. Oh, I'm cheating. Um. Uh. Okay, Somnium Files. Who got shot in the leg? It was a detective! Oh. No, it was Mizuki that got shot? What? Didn't the detective get shot? Like the, the Yakuza dude? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. S I'm just gonna say Mizuki. It was the first name that popped up. I remember everything. I played it. I remember hating Iris. Oh, not bad. Before I really knew who she was. You're correct. But you could have just gotten lucky. How about we go for one more round? Let's do it. Who is the true culprit of the new Cyclops serial killing? Um, um... Answer with just the first name again, please. Let's have it. I mean, do they want his real name? Or... Because it would be Kaname. Right? Because we we thought we were Kaname Date, but that was... Wait, no. Then this is going to be Saito? Uh... Uh... I don't want to get the name wrong. Uh, who is the culprit? Saito, okay, okay. But in reality, I'm Saito. Never mind. Good talk, sorry I couldn't hang out last night. It's totally fine, Golden. Uh, it was pretty late. And it also was Friday night, so who wants to hang out for that? Um, but happy Saturday. I hope you're having a good chill day. Saito. Wonderful! That's another right answer! Sorry for doubting you. You really do know about the new Cyclops killings. Oh! Did you hear that sound? That means the next question will be the last. Are How's the ready? weekend going? Um... It's going okay. I stayed up until 3.30 last night because, um... Uh... There was a countdown on the anime website for Haikyuu, which is an anime about uh, high school volleyball. And so I wanted to see what would be announced when that countdown went down. And they announced the ending of Haikyuu. It's just going to be two movies, but they have four story arcs to get through. They have to get through... 30... 1 to 40... They have to get through 15 volumes of manga in two movies and all of us were flipping out like no how is that possible you can't do this to us give us an anime season and two movies but yeah so i slept really late my head hurts from not getting proper sleep four stories in two movies good effing luck with that i know right uh, i mean two reasons why i think they're doing that one money they saw how successful Demon Slayer Mugen Train was 
all around the world as a theatrical release. So they're like, oh, we'll get a lot more money as a movie. Two, if they do keep everything in anime seasons, like the manga's already done. The anime still has four story arcs to go through. So they're just like, oh, if we want to animate this as an anime, it's going to take way too much time. People are going to lose interest and drop off. We should just finish it as movies to like complete it quickly. But, you know, the manga ended like a year ago or like, yeah. But people are still so hardcore about it. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just worried about how they're going to treat the stories. Because it's, it's what we've been building up to. And if they don't treat the story right in the anime, we're all just going to be like, wow, this freaking sucks. Speaking of anime and manga, have you watched Spy Family? One of my friends is uh, super into the manga and we started watching the anime. I like it. I've seen tons of things about Spy Family. I haven't gotten into it myself yet. Um, I don't know what's keeping me from watching it, but like a variety of different people with different tastes in like what they like in media have all liked Spy Family. So I'm like, it must be good then. Because that's the reason why I got into Demon Slayer, because a bunch of different people were like, yo, Demon Slayer is awesome. And then I finally watched it and I was like, yes, it is awesome. It's so stupid, and, but in a funny way. Oh, no, I definitely have to watch it. Demon Slayer is great. I think I want to watch it all over again. <laughs> uh. A precognitive dream is a dream that lets you see the future. But these precognitive dreams, are they really, truly, real? What? <laughs> Is happening? But like, that's the other argument that I was making because Demon Slayer Mugen Train, it just features on one arc. It's just... Bleh. It's just <laughs> the Infinity Train. They still finished the Red Light District as anime episodes. What's wrong? Are you okay? What? Are you okay? What? Why is everyone being chopped in half? <gasps> and I like how this kid looks. Black and orange, good combo. Oh, sorry if I yawn a lot. I'm so tired. Be careful, Mizuki. I detected a biological response. Three o'clock, distance of 315 feet, in the middle row of seats. Yeah. Whoa, the mask is upside down. The heck? What? Her pipe bent. Oh no, do I have to aim? I'm terrible at aiming. During the story with power, power of Ivo, you can gain special visual information. Right now, you can use zoom and night vision mode to function. Select zoom NV icon to inspect the enemy in the audience seat. Okay. Where is zoom? Check audience seat. Ah, zoom. Iva, zoom in. Night vision mode. Roger that. There you are. I don't see anyone. 
Hmm. I see it. It's just X-ray. Use the X-ray next. Understood. Figure. And you. <laughs> Who is that? Identity unknown. Judging from their figure, they appear to be female. Ah, so she's jealous, huh? I bet that's it. Why else would another girl target me? You can't think of any other reason? Jealous of what? <laughs> well, sure, but I'm really cute, you know? That's why other girls don't like me much. I am fairly certain that has more to do with your <laughs> personality. <laughs> I'm glad they kept the original, um, voice actress. Mizuki, load Evolver with a stun grenade round. You should be able to knock your opponent unconscious by detonating it near them. Got it. Ah, yes, this. Looks like the gun got upgraded, though. Okay, it's ready. I will display the aiming reticle. Take aim and pull the trigger. On it! Don't make me aim. I'm terrible at aiming. No! I hope I made it. What's with this girl? she go now detecting the target's footsteps they seem to be heading toward the stadium exit Ugh, can't let them get away mizuki wait even you won't be able to catch up to them more importantly there is someone passed out in the middle of the field oh it's only There's half a body something there yes Hey, that's... You recognize him? Yeah, I'm sure of it. I'll never forget. It's... Ew! Wait, I don't remember him. I don't recognize him. The left half of his body. His name is Jin Furue. I remember it clearly. Six years ago, at Studio Divita. The... right half of his body. What? Huh? Six years ago. Okay, so six years ago wasn't the new Cyclops killings. It was whatever this is. Ryuki, what's wrong? Pull yourself together. Whoa! Yeah, see? That's the Yakuza guy. There's Iris. Where am I? Don't tell me you were sleeping. Who falls asleep in the middle of a live stream? <laughs> Mr. Yuki, you're working under Boss, right? Boss, have you been giving him vacation time? She's probably working him to the bone on his off hours, too. I resent that. That is not true. I just have him scrape the stratum corneum off my heels every once in a while. The dirt off your heels? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryuki. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, um, yeah. All right. Now that Mr. Ryuki is away, let's get back to it, shall we? Here we go, next question. Which Taoist symbol, shaped like interlocking black and white commas, represents the origin of all things? Yin Yang? What the? A blackout? What are you standing around for? Get the lights! Yeah, I'm on it! What? Ray to free? Yeah! 
What is happening? Present. Field. It's snowing, but it hasn't piled up yet. Yeah. By the way, Mizuki, there is something that has been bothering me. What's this? This is the field before law enforcement arrived. Notice anything peculiar? No? No, nothing in particular. The turf runs a considerable distance and is wet from the snow. If someone were to step on it, they would leave a trace. However, there aren't any footprints. Indeed. Then how did the body... Unknown. Perhaps they descended from the sky. Or rose up from the ground. Or... It was there before it started snowing. They teleported here. <laughs> teleported? I was joking. Do not take it seriously. <laughs> corpse body! Would you like to check the corpse with x-ray mode? Heck yeah! yeah. It's unlikely, but maybe the right half of the body is buried in the ground. You could simply flip the body over. No way. I don't want to see that cut. Especially not down there. Hmm. In that I case... I want to see the cut. How's this? Thanks. I see now. That body is definitely just the left half. Corpse body. Look. I will get the more shocking facts out of the way first. The estimated time of death is approximately nine hours ago. What? Nine hours ago? Then how did his right half of the body appear six years ago? It is currently nine o'clock. So that would mean he was killed around 12. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Six years ago, I... Hold that thought. There's more. As you can see, the body was cut in two. There are no other external wounds on the body. It appears that he was sliced in half while he was still alive. But that's a super clean cut. As for what was used to cut him, I am sorry, but that cannot be determined. A laser. What do you mean? Judging by the cross section, it is clear that it was not a blade. It could not be a laser or pressurized water either. Why not? Then what was it? As I said, I do not know. The body was cut at the molecular level. So a laser. There is no? hardly any blood left in the body. It could be speculated that the corpse was left with the cut section facing the ground. However, there are no traces of any blood flow on the ground. Therefore, it is clear that he was murdered at some other location. His body was caught at the uh, molecular level about nine hours ago. Is there anything else? Because I can see the skeleton of the body's left half. Okay. Now I can look at uh, audience seat. Empty seats. Uh, police officer, did you find anything? Oh, no. I just started investigating, really. About the body. Weird, though, isn't it? He got killed six years ago, but the body shows up now? Aren't you cold? Nah. The lining has heating wires in it, so I'm warm. Oh, thank you for the concern, though. The cop from this jurisdiction. Oh yeah, that was another trophy from um from the first game. You had to keep talking to the detective and it's like, who what's your name again? Field. There isn't a trace of any disturbance on the field, so how did the body get here? They dropped it. Regulation line. A holographic boundary line. Entrance exit. It's where the spectators enter. I'm not joking when I say I'm going to examine everything possible. Ah! Get me to the lights! Get to the lights. The stadium lights. Lovely. Audience seat. Um, just want to see if there- Oh, 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 there was something. There was something green. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, soccer goal. Get to it, get- Ah, so freaking finicky. Soccer goal, there we go. There's a soccer goal here. Boss. 
Why are you here? You do know I'm the commander of Abyss, right? Right, but that's why I'm asking. Isn't it a bit weird for you to be at a crime scene in person? This case is special. I saw it too, six years ago. The other half of the corpse. At Studio Devita. And the HB case is still open, even after all this time. The reputation of the whole department hangs on this case. By HB case, she is referring to the half-body serial killings. So named because the victim's bodies were cut in two. The culprit is known as Terror. Haha, <laughs> Terror. Their identity is unknown. Six years have passed since Terror first made themselves known, but we have yet to find any promising leads. I already know that. You don't have to explain it. But I don't know it. Iba's trivia. During investigations, Iba and Tamo talk. Trivia and additional information will be displayed on the top of the screen. Why? What is it? Oh, no! Uh. Tear, as in tears you cry, the other tear means to rip something. The culprit, uh, of the HB case is more of a reference to the latter. By adding an er at the end of tear, we get terror. Cool. Okay, so I asked boss about Date. Well, I was just wondering if he contacted you or anything. I would have let you know right away if he did. Date was caught in that explosion six years ago. And has been missing ever since. Date's body was never recovered from the scene. Then how did we get Iba? Don't worry. I am positive it would take more than that to kill Kaname Date. I am certain he's at the Hot Springs District in Atami or some place, Atami! spending his time in leisure. If he is, I'd go down there and drown him in that boiling water myself. Okay, um... It's just about a feature, so you don't need to read it to progress the game. Cool. Boss, will you let me investigate this case? Of course. Not. What? Why not? Because you're only 18, Mizuki. You're still a student at Sekiba High. But I barely even go now. I'm gonna raise the game volume a little. Just in case it's a little too low, because they do talk a lot in this game. I graduate in a month. I hardly have any classes left. The point is, you're still a student. Then why did you let me join Abyss? Because I thought you had potential as a singer. I assume your gargantuan strength and combat ability were a factor as well. But you're basically still an intern. You've only been training for about a month. It's way too early to put you in the field. Boss, look. Boss, she's my direct superior now. I want to be on this case no matter what. Ugh, yeah, I thought you'd say that. Please, boss. I have to. This case is... Can you not give me the puppy dog eyes? You know I'm weak to the puppy dog eyes. <sighs> Fine, but promise me one thing. Swear to me that you won't do anything dangerous or illegal, no matter what. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I swear, I swear! And one more thing. I am your superior. You should address me with a little more respect. 10-4, boss man. I read you loud and clear. Do you? But boss, how come you haven't changed your clothes in six years? Detective, you're... What? You really don't know? I'm Detective Ushidera, Special Investigations Office, MPD. His voice sounds familiar. Introduce myself. I don't even have to ask about you. You're Mizuki Okira, 18 years old. A high schooler attending Sekiba High. The all-girls school, right? Ah, but Okira is your former name. You've been adopted by Date, if I remember correctly. You were at the studio when the other half of the corpse was found. So I take it you were there too? Yeah. Back then I was on the investigation team. Though you were 12 at the time, so I can't blame you for not remembering me. I heard you became a special agent at Abyss. That boss lady got her claws at you, huh? This little girl gets hired as an investigator. This little girl can punch your lights out. Huh. <sighs> Guess they'll take anyone they can get. Times sure have changed. Abyss is a particularly special organization. Mizuki was hired via what might be referred to as 
extra legal measures. Mm, do you know anything? I should be asking you. You're the one who discovered the body, right? You were also at the studio six years ago when the other half was found. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? What are you trying to say? Why did you come here? I got a Nile message. It said... HB Stadium. That could only be referring to the case six years ago, right? The half-body serial killings. I need to know more about that case. Changed my life. Forever. So that's why I came. Hmm. Regarding Mizuki's smartphone, if it gets reception, I can connect to any... Ne oh, yeah, yeah. About the Nile message. Who sent the message? I don't know. It was sent from an account that signed up with a fake name. Someone must have wanted me to discover the body. Someone? Maybe the culprit. Why would the culprit do that to you? I... don't know. There is one more thing we don't know. The masked woman who shot at us earlier. Who could this person of interest be? And why did she try to kill you? Any leads? Haven't found anything yet. Though there is something I didn't find that's particularly interesting. The footprints? Bingo. There isn't a single footprint on the field that doesn't belong to someone here. So just how did the culprit do it? Any leads again? There isn't a trace of any disturbance on the field, so how did the body get here? They dumped it! <laughs> He's a detective called Ushideta. Uh, corpse body. Oh, uh, uh, there's a green. Evidence marker. An evidence marker! Shh. Lame. Inspector. Do you recognize the body? Of course, ma'am. It's Jin Furaway. I don't think there's anyone in our generation who wouldn't recognize him. He was famous until he passed away. Well, even after he died. And six years ago, I was part of that investigation too. Were you at the studio by any chance? You don't remember? We did talk for a bit. Um, sorry, don't remember. You don't leave much of an impression. In a good way. In a good way? Um, by the way, what's with the ma'am? Abyss is a high level organization in the police department. You do technically outrank me, ma'am. Huh. Really? But you don't need to worry about the formalities with me. What? For real? I can be casual with you? Do you want to get your ass kicked? Sorry. Uh, sorry, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> then why say that? How's the investigation going? I've finished gathering DNA samples. It's being sent to forensics now. I'm sure the results will be out shortly. What's his name? I have a bad feeling about this, but you really want to know my name? Yeah. Then I'll tell you, but please don't forget it, okay? Got it. My name is Kagami. Kagami! <laughs> Kagami, huh? He came back! Okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> Ask his name. Mm hmm Here it comes. I knew this would happen. <laughs> Ask his name. Uh, I'll say it one more time. My name is Kagami. That's his name. I told you it's Kagami! That's his name. I already know his name already. I don't think I need to ask it again. No! Ask his name. Hey, what's your name again? Give me a break. An inspector is checking something. <laughs> Doesn't even call him Kagami. It's just like an inspector is checking something. Um... Is there anything... Else I can do? I inspected everything. Kagami! Oh, wait, something else was Corpse Face! That's definitely Jin Furoe. Yeah. The same face we saw six years ago at Studio Divita. Jin was a young industrialist. How do we know this isn't just like a mannequin body though? He was quite famous and often made media appearances. This cannot possibly be a stranger who happens to look like him. Unless they changed his face with plastic surgery. Six years ago, Jin Furaway's body was discovered in Studio Divita. And now, his left half was found here at the stadium. 
And yet his time of death is 12 o'clock today. Which means that half his body was alive very recently. What the hell is going on? My brain is doing cartwheels trying to figure this out. Iva? Hold on, did Iva just appear? Yeah. Wait, let me put my earphones in. Can you hear me, boss? Yeah, loud and clear. Check Iva. What if Jin has a twin brother? I looked into Jin Furoi's family background. Not only did he not have a twin, but there is no record of him ever having siblings. Uh, what if the body was frozen? There are no signs of him ever having been frozen. That half-body was definitely alive until just recently. What if the right and left half belong to different people? I, of course, did consider it a possibility, but both faces match perfectly. The rest depends on the DNA results. What if he was still alive just with the left half? What? I mean, the heart is in the left half of the body. I get it. You think they might have sewn the body back together. No, there are no traces of that. And... Were you two being serious? You do realize the cerebrum, brainstem, and spinal cord were completely severed in two? Well, there's a half body! Like, crazier things have happened. I have no idea what's going on. But this case is definitely connected to the incident six years ago. Which means the half body case isn't over yet. Six years ago, I was 12. I obviously wasn't in Abyss then. I wasn't part of the investigation at all. I didn't know much about the case. I did see some investigation documents during my training. But the information there wasn't much better than the information on the internet, so I couldn't get the full picture. Hey, Aiba. How much do you know about the HB serial killings? As you know, my knowledge of the case is about the same as yours. Due to the explosion six years ago, I lost all of my memories from a few days before that point. Awesome. And due to poor connection, I was unable to send or retrieve any backups. Awesome. What about you, boss? Same for me. Ryuki was the one on the case at the time. I don't know anything other than what he reported. What about the stuff he didn't report? I'm not a psychic. How would I know something that he didn't tell me? Aiba, where is Ryuki now? I've determined the location from Toma's GPS. Currently, Ryuki seems to be in Golden Yokocho. <gasps> is he with, um, with, um... Ah, oh, I forget their name. Once you can move to a different area, map will be displayed on the bottom of the screen. Use map to open the map and choose a destination. Map. Map. I'm pushing. Uh, Golden Yokocho. Is Iris's mom still around? Because Kaname uh, was in love with her. Did they get? Did they end up getting together? Detective, you're... Uh, we work in the same building and you don't know my name. Can't blame you, though. You're new. Metro PD, Major Crimes. Name's Ushidera. Introduce myself. Uh, I already know all about you. No need to say it. Kurita Ryuki, 23 years old. Due to your excellent marks, you skipped a few grades at an elite private university and graduated at 21. Afterward, you went through training at Police Academy for 15 months and were accepted into Abyss last summer. It's incredibly rare for anyone to get into Abyss without having stepped foot on a crime scene. Don't tell me you slept your way in with Boss. Gross. Uh, of course I didn't. I took the formal exam and Boss acknowledged my abilities. You mean your endurance? You're a young guy. Gross. Yeah, boss definitely seems more into the marathons than the sprints. What are you talking about? Well, Ryuki, when a man and a woman love each other very much... Oh, Thomas blushing. <laughs> you don't have to explain it. I get it. 
<laughs> Any leads? <sighs> Unfortunately, nothing yet. HQ still hasn't gotten any reports about the half-body being found. Hell, maybe it's never going to be found. What if that body crossed over time and space to get here? What? It's possible, right? No. No? <laughs> it's a detective named Ushidara. Monitor. It's a monitor for watching the contestants. Moma, his name. His name is Moma Kumakura. He's a leader of the Kumakura gang, which is under the Ujisaki family. I know. The Kumakuras are known for being peculiar, even among Yakuza. But why is their leader at a live streamed quiz show? Because he wanted to be with Iris. Who was the man sitting next to you? Oh, you mean Chinpei. Chinpei? Chinpei Wagai. That's his name. He was one of our members, until just recently. Was? Yeah, he went clean. Left the life completely. And where is he now? Who knows? The moment he saw the corpse, he flew out of the room, white as a sheet. He's probably puking into a toilet somewhere. Gross. Do you know the victim? Anyway, it's real fucked up. Even people in my world wouldn't kill someone so gruesomely. That bastard. Scaring Tessa like this. Whoever did this better make sure the cops get to him before I do. Moma Kumakura. Iris. Her name. I know her name, without asking. Iris Sagan. I was introduced before the show started, and... She was involved in the new Cyclops serial killings that happened last November. You read the reports. Yeah, so I know enough about what happened. Mr. Date was also on that case. Oh, by the way, this case and the new Cyclops serial killings are not related. Oop. So that is just a hunch. Lovely. Are you okay? Does she look okay to you? I already talked to the other detective. I want to go home already. You know the victim. Teleportation. What? <laughs> what? body teleported here from a parallel world but only half of his body was able to make it through that's why he was split in half i forgot she had weird crazy conspiracy theories <sighs> she's trembling mizuki her name mizuki date 12 years old her former name is okiura but she was adopted by my superior officer kaname date that's why i've met her a few times before like the time you carried Date home on your back after he had one too many rounds. Where is Mr. Date? I don't know. Not his guardian, you know. He got all giddy about taking a long vacation. He's probably at a cabaret club in Magua right now, pouring some ponzo on that Reika chick's fat thighs. Wait, is wasn't Reika the the secretary? I mean, not not the secretary, the receptionist. What are you doing? What? Isn't it obvious? Iris is totally freaking out, so I'm helping her calm down. When are you letting me leave anyway? That other detective said you still had questions you needed to ask. So... You know the victim? Of course. Jin Furue, right? I've seen him online a bunch of times. Her name is Mizuki Date. She's a sixth grader. Cool. Camera tripod. Camera with a tripod. Door. Heavy door. Big camera. Big camera. Regulation line. Long table. Uh, uh, come on, step ladder. Come on, step ladder. Come on, step ladder. Uh, come on, kettle. Mm. Let's talk to boss. Where are we? Why are we here? Hey, what's going on with you? Memory problems? Brain disorder or something? You look like you're losing it a little. No, it's nothing. Boss was invited here by Ma, a host from Kabuki Show. Ma told her, let's go on this online show together. It looks so fun. But immediately after she showed up, she was sent a Nile message that read, Sorry, something came up. 
So in other words, he flaked on her. Boss tried to go home, but the show's staff stopped her and begged her to find a replacement. So she called up her obedient underling, huh? How convenient. Yeah, you remember now? Remember? You never told me anything about this Ma guy. Ah, so Tama told you. After I asked her not to. Who's in charge of this case? Hmm, well, there's no one else available, so would you mind taking care of it? What? Me? I know this case could get dangerous. It might be too hot to assign to a rookie. But then again, you have a reliable partner with you. Mm-hmm. I'll give you hands-on assistance for this investigation. That was a weird way she said hands-on. About the body. It's Jin Furaway, no doubt about it. He was like an advisor who represented the young talent. I saw him a lot on the news online. This is so strange. Why just his right half? Boss, I report directly to her. Any new intel? Please, don't rush me. I'm doing the best I can. Oh no. Looks like he's just standing there to me. Yeah. A contestant seat. There are three spots for the contestants. Sign. Frey to free? Frey can mean battle, tatter, ravel, or strain. Free is self-explanatory. To set free or release. So the phrase could mean something like fight to set free. Hmm. What's with that QR code? Uh, let's finish talking to the police officer about the body. Is it true that body appeared out of nowhere? It's hard to believe, but... How are you? It's all right now, because I am here! Half might! Oh my gosh! Why are you here? I came! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Are you okay, Mr. Ryuki? Oh my gosh. I feel like you aren't exactly a sound of mind right now. Oh my gosh. Yuki can sometimes, oftentimes, get weird like this. He isn't doing well mentally. One of my jobs is to support him. Oh my gosh. Uh... What's with that QR code? I'm looking at the sign again. The thing is, there seems to be an error in the Abyss communication system. We're having issues getting online. What? Come on. What? You got a problem with that? No, not at all. Hmm. A fight for freedom, huh? Corpse body. The estimated time of death was about 40 hours ago. 40 hours ago, so almost two whole days. Today is February 10th, current time 2200, which means he died around six o'clock February 9th. Yesterday morning. There's hardly any blood left in his body. His body must have been left with his legs slightly raised and the cut side facing the ground. Blood naturally flowed out as a result, leaving the cut surprisingly clean and visible. The cut appears to have been made by something far thinner than paper. Yeah. Thinner than paper? For example, something with zero thickness, like a 2D surface. There's no such... What's more is that it doesn't seem like the connections between molecules were severed. The structure of the molecules themselves have been cut. How can you tell that though? Um, so this is going to be a little hard to understand, so feel free to skip this if you like. Among scientific bonds, there is the intermolecular bond, which uses electrons to bond, and the intermolecular bond, which is the bonding of molecules themselves. Intramolecular bonds are stronger than intermolecular bonds, so when something is cut in half, it is usually the intermolecular bond that is severed. However, Jin Furuya's body was severed at an intramolecular bond level. That's it for the science part. Please continue to enjoy the main story. What oh, in the world happened yesterday at 6? Let's look at the face. X-ray. What is it? This might not be related to the case, but I just thought of something. Ryuki, would you mind moving closer to the body? Hmm. He's missing one of his back teeth. Yes, the first molar of his upper jaw was completely removed from its root. Judging by the impression left in the dumbs, it looks like it was removed just recently. Oh. 
Look. The identity of the deceased has been confirmed through facial recognition. Jen Furaway, 29 years old. Furway. The CEO of Music Food Co. Ltd. He's also an executive at several IT firms, consultation companies, investment firms, and advertising agencies. His columns and essays are featured in various magazines and online media. He's quite a successful author. By the way, Ryuki, there's something about the corpse's head that's been bothering me. It's hard to see from here, so here's the image I took earlier. What's this? Oh, the back of his head has a hole. It's an enlarged picture of Jin's temporal region near the back of his head. It's hard to see because of the hair in the way, but there are signs of traumatic subcutaneous hematoma. In other words, there's bruising. I think he got hit with a blunt object. Someone hit him from behind? Probably, but I don't think this is a fatal wound. There's no damage to the skull or brain itself. And as you can clearly see, his cause of death was being split in half. There are no other visible wounds besides the head trauma. He must have been cut in two while he was alive. There's trace blunt force trauma on the back of Jin's head. It seems unrelated to the death, but... There's another thing? Why did that first molar fall out of the upper jaw? Did it fall out or was it taken out? Do you know the victim? Jin Furoe? Yes, of course I know about him. I actually follow him on Twitter. Twitter. He cuts through all the BS of the modern world. He is insightful, inspiring in a way. Inspector's checking something. How's the investigation on the body going? Well... What? You still haven't taken DNA samples? Easier said than done. Most of the blood was drained from the body, so we have no choice but to take samples from the organs. Wait, hey, this is no place for a kid. What do you mean? I mean, you're right next to the body. So? So? Well, you... you could be traumatized for life seeing something like this. I'm fine. I've seen worse. She has seen worse. A anyway, you're in the way. She saw her mom die. <laughs> fine. Well, there you have it. So, in other words, you don't have anything. Ask his name. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. It's just that I had a bad experience. I try not to tell people my name. And I'll tell you instead. His name is Kagami. Kagami? Huh. Huh? How did you know? Why... Why does this keep happening? Is my name cursed or something? Keep asking his name! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all I can do is laugh now. I told you it's Kagami. His face. <laughs> I already know his name. I don't think I need to ask again. I'm pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. His name is a. Uh, what was it again? Um, I'm sorry. What was your name? Oh, come on. I'm sure you actually remember. Mimiga. Was it? <laughs> Mimiga! <laughs> oh, my mistake. It's Mimigawa, isn't it? It's neither. No need to shout, Kagami. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> big monitor. A big monitor. Sign. Decoration. Mm, podium. I hope that is just a mask that he's wearing and not his actual head, because that would be freaky. Let's talk to you, Komeji. His name? I think he introduced himself to me before the show started. His name was... Andy's Komeji, I think. That's his stage name, of course. His real name is Yonaharu Enda. He's a comedian. I'd never heard of him before. He must not be very good. Oh! I suppose you can do better, asshole. Tama, what the heck? What do you know about comedians? Listen, comedians are all doing their best so they can bring people joy. And here you are, just... Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I've known Tama for more than half a year now, but I still have a hard time understanding what sets her off. I had no idea that was a sensitive subject. Where am I? Are you still out of it, Mr. Ryuki? This is Studio Devaita in Minato Roppongi. 
It's a rental studio, mostly used for live streaming, filming, that kind of thing. Rafa Quisho. Did you really not understand what you were getting into when you agreed to this? We arrived here right as the stream was about to begin. They made us sit in the contestant seat right away without telling us anything. Well, the title of our show is right there. Faith to Face, our special six-hour live stream marathon, brought to you by Amabi TV. We cut the stream, of course, but the cameras should have been running when that body appeared. I'm sure all of Japan, or even the world, tuning in on the internet is in shock right now. Ryuki, I've got a connection. Woo! The QR code link. It leads to a ViewCube page. ViewCube? You mean... Yes, the video streaming site. Whose account does the channel belong to? No idea. It was registered using an alias. Okay. Open it. What? I'm sorry. Can you please open it? That's better. Bossy. Tama. What? Watching this, this is so gross. Like, it's unsettling. Ew. What, what's wrong, Ryuki? What? What? Is, is Ryuki not a person? Is he an android? Hey, um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. That was not a I'm fine face. Okay, cool. Put out the fire, someone? Or not. Don't do it. And now the title screen comes out? I- wow. Whoa, who are you? What the? any more creepy videos please no he comes back i hate him okay so it looks like we're gonna have to be working in tandem with the present with Mizuki side and the past with Ryuki side. Duh. But like, um. I'm wondering if all the things that we play with Ryuki are what's in the files that Mizuki's read? Hmm. Oh, it's Brahmin. You are familiar with it. Yeah, I've been here a bunch of times. 
Ryuki is supposed to be here? I'm certain of it. Okay, let's go in. Okay, I didn't think we were going to be meeting up until, like, end game. I thought it'd just be like, oh, he's not here anymore. Where'd he go? But I guess we're meeting him now. Whoa. That's a lot of beer, dude. Table. A table. Menu. The menu. Mug. Mugs on the table. Houseplants. Ganesha picture. It's a picture of Ganesha, the Hindu god. Ganesha is worshipped as the god of wealth, especially by merchants. Blackboard menu. Chair. Counter. Alcohol bottle. Kitchen. It's empty other than a large pot. And a freezer. Posters. Refrigerated case. Maybe we're gonna get into a lot of like um, Indian uh, mythology and culture because the first question that they asked was related to Indian um, mythical creatures. Door. And now there's a Ganesha picture, but I could be reading too much into it. Like I always do. Okay, now I think we could talk to Yuki. About the HP case. Jin Furoe's other half was found. The other side of his corpse. The one we couldn't find six years ago. The time of his death was around 12 o'clock today. What do you think that means? Answer me, Ryuki! You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? <sighs> Make it a side part, please. Ugh. Just what kind of dream is he having? How should I know? Should we try wink sinking? <sighs> Forget it. Just be a waste of battery. Uh, where's Jenny? <laughs> They're gone. Where to? I don't know. Maybe to the mirror world? What? Jenny, being this man? Oh, Full name, Jenny? Gen Ishiagane. I met him several times in the past when I was in Date's left eye socket. I did not meet him at all. Yeah. Jenny is the owner of this fusion restaurant, Brahmin. He runs it all by himself without hiring any help. Where could he be? It's not like him to leave his customers like this. Oh no, I want to wake him up. Wake him up inside. Ryuki, please, tell me about six years ago. I want to know all about what happened back then. The HB case and the explosion are related. If I can solve the HB case, maybe I can figure out where he is. I'll take a double shochu curry shot. Ew. This is futile, Mizuki. Ryuki's blood alcohol level is 0.32%. Holy moly. He is quite intoxicated. <sighs> In fairness, the reason he's like this now is because of that incident. He had psychological issues before, but the events of the case deepened his condition. As you can see, he now spends his days drowning himself in alcohol. So if we solve this case, we might be able to heal his trauma? It's possible. Then it's all the more reason for him to help. For his own sake, too. Yeah, help us. Still, I doubt he would wake up even if you cut his eyelids off. Ew. What will you do? Isn't it obvious? Punch him. Sink with him. Oh, sink. Never mind. I thought you said you weren't gonna sink with him. Come wake on, him up. Ryuki. Wake up. Hey, I said, wake up. Oh, look, a porno mag. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to work on Ryuki. I suspect Date would have woken up instantly. Come on, big brother. Wake up, wake up. If you don't hurry, you're gonna be late. 
He's awake? Nurse, pour some soy sauce on me, please. Gross. What? Right down the middle. What? <laughs> okay, map. Abyss HQ. Oh, we brought him back. Oh, yeah, because we're going to sync with him. It's you! Monitor on. Monitor off. <laughs> I knew it. Door. Steel shelves. There's something like a facial roller inside. What? <laughs> Ooh, long, long table. Long table. Um... Creepy girls used to climb out of those things in the old days. Creepy girls? That's right. Or was it just one girl? If you copy the tape, is there more than one girl? Or maybe one is real and the rest are clones? They didn't do a good job of explaining it. Either way, it's creepy! Isn't the ring, um, there's only one girl and you have to make seven copies? And give it out to seven people before seven days, or else you die. I'm still here. What the f? I've always been here. Hey, did you hear something? <sighs> yes, that's the cleaning lady. That's creepy. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Why is the cleaning lady inside of the locker? The f? Zephyr, what are you doing? Chair. Think machine. Yuki. Talk to him. Hey! Mizuki, I think you're wasting Oh, wait, it's not Zephyr, it's Pewter. Why did I get Zephyr? He's so soaked in alcohol, you could light his breath on fire with a match. Yo, Ryuki, get up! Uh, careful, Mizuki. If you wake him up now, we'll be the ones mopping up the mess. Yuki is slumped over like a bent nail. Guess why that the Guess that's why they call it hammered. Ha 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 ha. Yuji's completely Ryuki is completely pastored. Pewter about Pewter. His real name is Futa Amano Amanoma. But everyone calls him Pewter. I'm sure you can figure out why. Why? Where's boss? Wait, you didn't see her at the stadium? I did, but she's not back yet? Of course not. This is boss we're talking about. She's probably at a host club in Kabukicho, licking the salt off her third tequila shot right about now. About the case. I know. I got the report. Jin Furaway's right half was found in Studio Divita six years ago. The other half was found at the stadium today, correct? But the corpse's estimated time of death was around 12 today. No signs of the body having been frozen. And Jin doesn't have any twins. The theory of the right and left half belonging to different people was debunked earlier, too. What do you mean? We got the DNA results. The DNA extracted from Jin's right half six years ago. The base sequence was an exact match with the left half. But how can it... Mm... A 100% match. And how can he still be kept the person. alive? The right half was found six years ago on February 10th. Today is also February 10th. What could it mean? And it's also six years ago. The freak? Mizuki, do you really intend to sync with him? Would it be a problem because he's drunk or something? No, but what I mean is, you haven't gotten permission from boss, have you? I understand how you feel, Mizuki. I'm sure you want to solve the HB case more than anyone. After all, you lost two very precious things due to that incident. Date, of course, and... Oh, that's where she lost her eye? 
Your left eye. At least we didn't have to extract your eye to insert the AI ball. There was nothing left to extract. I am glad the room was vacant. I don't do well with roommates. Ha ha ha. Listen, you shouldn't delve too deeply into this case. But you know we are going to do it anyway. I have a very bad feeling about all this. Don't worry. Boss didn't technically give me permission to sink, but she did assign the investigation to me. Are you sure about this? Yeah. There will be no turning back. I know. I see. Then let's get started. What happened six years ago? Ryuki's memories may hold the answer. They will hold the answer. Oh, I should check the flowchart to see if um, anything happened. But I think I'm still just on the first chapter anyway. There were no decisions to branch. Oh my gosh, I keep yawning. Oh, I really need to sleep properly today. I should eat some ice cream. Mizuki, the time limit with Insomnium is six minutes. Stay there any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed into the subject's mind. Also, I, I haven't earned any trophies yet. That's weird. This isn't my first time sinking, you know. Okay, then. Let's begin. I hope they have trophy accomplishments for this game. That's one reason why I like playing PlayStation games. I want to collect all the trophies for the Platinum. Oh my gosh! Invincible rainbow arrow! <sighs> I've been practicing. How's my dancing? Yeah, looking good. Wriggling around like a freshly caught shrimp. Oh no, not you two. I'm too cute to be a shrimp. Hey, listen. Now's no time for a dance number. We have an investigation to handle. Ah, oh, yes. My apologies. I felt compelled. Okay, so his mind is just an interrogation oh, room. Mizuki, do you know your way around Somnia? If you are assigned to this case, you will be sinking many times, I'm sure. Would you like a refresher? Uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. A little refresher course couldn't hurt. Not that I need it or anything. Understood. I will be ready to assist you when the time comes. Somnia, you will investigate the inside of a subject's dream. They find their hidden memories. Got it. Thanks. All right. This desk and camera are from the interrogation room. But there's no walls or ceiling. What am I supposed to do in a place this bare? Well... Before anything... Somnium scan! Activate! That's lock one... Two... Three... Okay, only three locks. The spell... Ryuki is hallucinations and find the truth. Ryuki is trapped by hallucinations. Help him overcome them and discover the truth. Difficulty standard. Q Q Q. Hmm. This layer of Ryuki's somnium appears to have three mental locks. So I gotta unlock those, right? Correct. By doing so, you can travel deeper into his psyche. The truth is found in the deepest layer. By unlocking mental locks, you could go deeper into the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the way to unlock mental locks are called objectives located on the top left of the screen. Make sure you work towards these to progress. Okay, I'll start with this room first. Right. There isn't much to interact with, but there must be a way to continue. Somnia, you can inspect things with nameplates. First, move Ibo around to get close to something with a nameplate and inspect it. 
But if I move, that uses time. Okay, um... I'm gonna investigate the chair first. A folding chair. Same as the kind in the interrogation room. An inspector is something you can give Iba orders from the available options. Choose an option to have Iba do many different now. Okay, I... We're going to sit in it. Try sitting on... There. And I remember that, like, oh, if you complete what? the the sink with time left over, you get, um, you unlock bonus images. Ryuki! Hey, Ryogo! How you doing? Thanks for joining! Happy Saturday! Mizuki, now is your chance to question him. Um, you can check how much progress you made in Insomnium by checking the depth. The action you did, just progressed your depth, make it to the bottom to clear the Somnium. Oh yeah, and then there's different branches, so this is how we... This is how we progress. Updated depth, cool. Tell me about the HPK slap him awake, appeal to his emotion. Tell me about the HP case. Ryuki, can you tell me what you know about the HB case? <laughs> Why do you keep making me remember? Damn it. Damn it. I was so close to finally forgetting. Please. Stop! Iba? Well, that wasn't it. Uh, Iba, you okay? Yeah, it just got really bright. What was that explosion? Is that the Persona 5 protag? Nah, his name is Ryuki. That blue thing. Is it an eyeball? Oh, was the eyeball an explosion? Is that what caused uh, his body to, um... To... Explode? Ryuki, do you know the culprit? Do you? No. What is this? Wait. It's a reverse sync. What? Ryuki's consciousness is flowing into your brain, Mizuki. Whoa. Okay, I'm glad I didn't skip the tutorial. <gasps> My apartment. <gasps> the the suit that Tata made me. Cause it's my favorite. Whoa, hello. Huh? This is That's Tama? Holy moly. Mr. Date's house. Fifteen eyeballs gained from doing what? Remember the case, remind them of Okay, I don't see any timer stuff here, so I guess I'm just free to inspect everything. What is this? Soup? It's her special soup! Do you know the culprit? I... The culprit's name... I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Intrusion thwarted. Do you know his name? I don't know. Good, we're out of here. We've defended against Ryuki's consciousness. So is everything okay? It should be. But it is peculiar. Usually, the sinker goes into the subject's mind. But for some reason, the subject's consciousness was able to slip into your mind. But you should be fine now. But probably because he's also a sinker, no? We have blocked no? the root of intrusion. We are reconnecting to Ryuki's mind via another path. That's good. But why did that happen? Unless Tama is shady. Maybe Tama isn't everything she appears to be. Loading would be lovely. Where the freak are we? Whew. 
crosshairs? Who's shooting at us? <gasps> Can't remember the name. I mean, I honestly don't remember the name, so I can't choose the other option. Close in on Yuki. Mental lock was uh, unlocked. You have to complete it. Blah, blah, blah. There's still other mental locks in the Somnium. With the new objective, close in on Yuki. Blah, blah, blah. This place is... It's the cathedral. Oh, so this is what you were talking about. Hey, is that rubble? It appears as though the collapse was halted halfway through. Oh, it's Ryuki! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not gonna be straightforward to get to him. Wait, Mizuki. You can only remain in Somnia for six minutes, 360 seconds. For some reason or another, the passage of time in the interrogation room was slower, but that is not the case now. You need me to find the info within six minutes, right? While I remain still, time almost stops, but time progresses when I am in motion. Super hot. That's the system that Pewter came up with, right? I swear that Pewter is like a tech god. Thank you, XCon! <laughs> That's an interesting way to compliment someone. Anyway. If you are stuck, simply stop moving and observe your surroundings. Look at the map and try to get a hold of the situation. Understood? Yeah, yeah, thanks for the reminder. Go ahead and check that don't display this message again box. I don't have that function. Ha ha ha. Okay, now the time comes out. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first of all, there's an eyeball here. So... Wait! I thought if I oh? get the eyeball, I get a file. Oh, okay. Instead, I get eyeballs. Um, I thought there was a way I could do a scan. And then it'll be like, hoo hoo, here are things. I shouldn't waste too much time, but just in case there's like another eyeball. Didn't want to. Okay. What's this? He's coming back into my mind. We're surrounded. The rubble turned into a hand. Ew. Ryuki's dream sure is creepy. Darn. We cannot get through. We need to find a way out of here. Mm, a torch. A brazier. I can interact with this for whatever reason. Uh, breathe out? It is not getting bigger or smaller. Blowing on it didn't make it waver either. Is this fire real? Yuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are bright. Mizuki, I have obtained a key. What's that? A key is a new function that Pewter came up with. It uses an algorithm to clarify the rules of a Somnium world or the sync subject's psyche. In other words, it tells you how the dream works? Correct. Damn, we can do that now? Pewter's legit. The sync system has evolved greatly. The key can help with unlocking mental locks and better understanding the subject. By searching more, the key will be updated and information accumulated. So the more I search, the more hints I get. Key is a clarification of Asomnium's rules. The start of a sink, it is hidden, but they open as you inspect things. Keys are crucial to reach the depths of Somnia. When stuck, try checking them. The lock info you can find in the objective, depths, and keys. When stuck in Somnium, open the locked info to find more clues. Okay. I mean, I figure I just get more it's light. It's a torch. It's on fire. Breathe in. <laughs> Breathe in what? The torch, duh. What do you mean, duh? That wasn't an obvious answer. I want you to extinguish it by sucking in with your nose. I have never heard of such a thing. <laughs> You'll never know till you try. Fine. Hmm? <gasps> I had a feeling that wouldn't work. 
Yuki's dream is trapped by the shadows. The shadows are always missing a single aspect. Huh? But I'm still stuck in here, so there's obviously... It's a torch. Let's inspect it. It's a normal torch. I can feel the heat of the fire. There is nothing different. Oh, I see. Okay, then... It's a torch. Breathe out. Okay, this one got bigger. Wow. I could do well as a street performer. That looks fun. I'm gonna try that at home. No, please don't. Please don't. I'm kidding. Blowing it out won't work. Mizuki, you have five minutes left. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, was that another... Okay, I thought there was another Abrasion. brazier. Inspect. It looks like a normal brazier. Touch it. No. Please, come on. Just the tip, please. Okay, then. Hot! Or... Not? So it's fire that's not hot? This fire must have shadow traits. Shadow traits? Different properties from the real world. For example, consider fire that is not hot. It is as though it is missing a property that it has in the real world. These shadows are usually heavily affected by the nature of dreams. So we might not extinguish this fire in the usual predictable fashion. Okay. So a break. Breathe in. If this, this brazier one isn't is hot. a shadow, we can't extinguish it in the normal way. Let's try something that doesn't normally extinguish fires. All right, suck in really hard. That's what she said. I do have amazing suction. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Amazing suction. Bravo, marvelous. Huh? Deja vu? Looks like the shadow traits were the key after all. Okay. Hmm. That rubble there. Is that lower than before? Do we have another time limit? If we do, we cannot be wasting time. Uh-oh. All right. Let's chase after Ryuki. Chase if after him. Lost, He's just the standing map. there. Yeah, I know. Map of a uh, map of the Somnium. Set navigation to what you want to investigate. Boss, meow, hidden eyeballs in the dream world. There are always five, mumble mumble. All right, I'm gonna... Oh, okay, so there's five hidden eyeballs. Uh, I found one. I know Duki's there, but eyeballs. They're calling me. Or not. Hey, Ryuki. It's not my fault. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Five, give me. Damn it! We are trapped in this space again. But if we get rid of something with the shadow trait, maybe we can get out. Ryuki is blank. He's still holding on to blank and blank. You have four minutes remaining. That's normal Ryuki. Oh, we... An Evolver is floating. Inspect it! It's an Evolver. Standard issue for Abyss members. Is it Ryuki's? Unless there is a special request. All members are issued the same firearm, so we cannot tell. But there is one thing I notice. What is it? I do not feel any electromagnetic forces. The Evolver utilizes electromagnetism, so it should be emitting electromagnetic waves. Oh, maybe it's one of those shadow trait things. Perhaps. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Oh, yay. I got a timey. You know what a timey is, don't you? Um, it's like a useful item that changes the flow of time, right? For the most part, timey is a material capable of modifying the way the brain processes time. By using this, you can slow down or speed up time in the Somnium world. I invented it. You go, Pewter. You cannot hold on to too many at a time, so be sure to use them as they come. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Okay, so... If I inspect the other Volvler, will I get another timey? Let's... It's oh, it's Brandy! brandy. Yeah, using timey's 
reduces time. Yeah. Um, we're gonna use... And we're going to... Inspect it. Hmm. It looks like a normal brandy bottle. Is this Ryuki's favorite drink? Yes. I've seen Ryuki drink this brand before. Ryuki was drinking right before the sink, which is probably why it showed up in his dream. He's just a drunkard. I do think Ryuki has a reliance on alcohol. Though it is all mental, it is not easy to overcome such an addiction. You don't have to sympathize with him, but you should at least understand. I see. Okay, so I got... That didn't give me a tiny. Oh no, it did. Um, okay. I'm gonna go back to the Evolver. It's an evolve. Um... Change time cost to 20 seconds, yeah. Uh... Okay, so shooting Ryuki will give me a 20 second, and shooting myself will give me a half. Um, I'm gonna go for... Shoot myself! Which method do you want to try? Inside the mouth? Below the chin? Or on the temple? Uh, you don't have any How about just about the foot? I do. But my job is to support you, Mizuki. Above all else, I believe in and obey your orders. Uh, I see. Thanks. In that case, can you ignore my last command? What the? Aiba! Aiba! Uh, it was a blank. My ears are ringing. Why didn't you just shoot your foot? <sighs> shoot your foot! Jeez. Your nose and ears have been through a lot today, huh? I have other holes. I'll be fine. That's what she said. What were you planning on using the other holes for? It appears obeying your command was the right Aha, thing to do. Aha, I knew it. Good job, Mizuki. Well done. Oh, uh, yeah. Glad it worked. <gasps> what are you doing? Ryuki! <sighs> Damn it! Damn it! That's no use. Me dying isn't gonna fix anything! Yeah, so help us solve the case. Are these feet? It's a person's I can't body. Die yet. I'll carry this forever. Where are you going? Remember what? He's still holding on to his Let's regrets chase after and Ryuki. blank. Okay, I don't think I saw any hidden eyeballs here. Yeah. I only have 192 seconds left. Ah! Oh, you're not a hidden eyeball. Um. Ooh, okay. This again. But now we know what to do. We need to find the thing with shadow traits and break it, right? Yes, most likely. But it looks like we can only interact with Ryuki. Retry allows you to go back mid save point. Uh, you can only perform a retry three times. Use one retry to fail the sink. The retry account will be recovered. Okay. Uh. Let's go to this one. Hey, Ryuki. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Ooh. Um. Inspect him. Kick him? Kick him will give... Oh, man. Kick him takes 40 seconds, so... But... Uh, let's inspect. It only takes 5 seconds. She's sitting on him. <laughs> he has a scrawny face, but it's a Ryuki that can be found anywhere. Found anywhere? There is nothing wrong with him. So this Ryuki isn't a shadow. Three minutes left. You can do this. Eh, can I? You can hey, be. Ryuki. I can't forget about what I did. I have no future. Pet him, beat him up. Inspect. Um, let's just go inspecting again. 
His face is pitiful, but it is a typical Ryuki. What's a typical Ryuki? I mean, he looks normal. He's probably not I've a shadow. There, buddy. <laughs> I feel like mm, none of these Ryuki. are shadows. <laughs> I did nothing wrong. I forgot it all. Nope, this is a shadow. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my days. <laughs> Creepy. Um, we're gonna kick him. I'm going to use a a half. I'm gonna kick him. Good timing. I was getting annoyed. Oh, you seem enthusiastic about this. Get a hold of yourself! Uh, huh? Didn't connect. Yuki is burdened by what happened in the past. He's still holding on to his regrets and blank. Um... I did nothing wrong. Nah. I can't. For I have no future. Uh, let's beat him up. No, no, I no. I meant I to choose. Are you for real? Oh my gosh. I wanted to choose beat him up, but ah. Uh, Rack. Are you sure? He's so down on himself. He looks like he needs a good punch. I am not so sure about that, but okay. Get a hold of yourself! Oh, that killed him. Hmm. But nothing changed, which means getting rid of him didn't do anything. Let's inspect another Ryuki. And is in denial. Okay, so it's it's this one, right? <laughs> so we're going to agree with him. This Ryuki doesn't have a shadow. And something's weird about how positive he is. That must be the shadow trait. So we should do the opposite of what he wants. Yes, the don't encourage the psychotic breakdown plan. Ota would probably love the praise, but this is Ryuki, the honor student we're talking about here. Ryuki, you're doing well. Just forget Brains. Hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Happy Saturday. You did nothing wrong. No one's going to resent you. Boss and everyone else accepts you. Just rest. Take some time off. Enjoy yourself. N no, that's not... Stop! It's all my fault! Which is why I needed to do something! Cool, cool. All right, our plan you get your glasses, you look very pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Kirby. No, no, no! I hope you no enjoy my cool toast. No mercy! Never! Never! I am running out of time, and I have only found the one fire. eyeball. There's no going back. What is where you keep I'll just do all the completion stuff like after this. I like, you know, finish the game. I want to experience the story. The last correct selection will allow you to go over the three sec sixty second threshold. Even if you run out of time, don't give up till the very end. You might still be able to clear Somnium. Uh, clear with at least one second and obtain some eyeballs. That the no, not there. Oh, like not actual eyes, but um, let's see, where's the map? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. How did you like getting locked out of the path already? What do you mean locked out of the path? Because the only path was I remember his name and I don't remember his name. And I honestly don't remember the name, so... I don't think I got locked out of anything. Uh, but let's look for eyeballs. Eyeballs, doko. Mizuki, you have less than two minutes left. Rack, Be careful. Okay, no hidden eyeballs. Here we go. Hi. Yeah, Ryuki. Oh, do I have to go here? 
Pick up. I mean the branch you saw just now. Oh, I didn't. I didn't mind. I knew there was gonna be a this branch. Police ideas. Um. Pretty early on. Huh? What? Oh, did Date push him out of the way? Is that why he's gone? Ryuki! No, he's stuck. That's. I'm sorry. I didn't think this would happen. You can solve everything. Everything. <gasps> Blood. That better not be Let's that there. Out of here, Mizuki. <laughs> this game has a special place for me because it's half fire and just dream. Yeah. Yeah, the honor of being the first playthrough I watch after knowing all the twists. Nice. Get Duki. I completed. 30 eyeballs gained. Oh, no, this isn't over. 500 eyeballs gained. Whoa. Determination. I am filled with determination. Uh, my brain's already like, what the freak? This possessed Yuki Chapter Zero. What happened, dude? Hey. You. Um, who are you again? It's not Bikini. It's not Tsukini either. Oh, I remember. It's Mizuki. Ugh. Looks like he hasn't sobered up yet. Why did the Tama talk? It should have been... It's oh, because I'm in, uh... Yuki's point of view. I want alcohol. I'm not leaving until you give me answers, so quit messing around. You probably weren't listening to me at Brahmin, so I'll say it again. I wonder how this was originally in Japanese. Yeah, me too. No need. Tama told me earlier, Jin Furue's other half was found. But the body was alive until noon today. You want to know how? It's simple. Jin's left half flew here. It flew through time from the world six years ago. What are you talking about? You're crazy. Ryuki, I looked inside your mind. I know. You synced with me, didn't you? Who was that person? That person? The person who was reaching out to you at the end of the Somnium. Tell me, something happened six years ago that I don't know about. What was it? You really want to know? Yes. Yeah. You could be putting yourself in danger. Don't care. I'm not afraid. Fine. Then I'll tell you. But I'm sure there's no need to explain what happened on February 10th, six years ago. Yeah, I was there at the studio. All right. Then I'll start from the part you don't know about. The day after the incident. February 11th. My birthday eve. This would have been cool if it came out on February 10th, and then we're just like, Whoa, it's today! <laughs> Anyone imagines Ryuki Chapter 1. Happy birthday. <laughs> My birthday is in another six months. <laughs> six years ago. Hey, it's your office! Hey, it's Date! What's up, Ryuki? Mr. Date. Happy half birthday, yeah. Um, well, actually, yesterday was my half birthday, but thanks anyway. Date! Why are you here? I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. About your face. Hmm? 
Is there something on my face? Well, um, the face you have now isn't your real face, is it? You got your old body back during the new Cyclops serial killings case, so... Yeah, Falco! Yeah, well, I decided to have a custom mask made. Everyone knows me by this face. Besides, this one is, uh, more popular with the ladies. I don't think it makes much of a difference. I thought you got together with Shut Iris's up. mom! About the I- wait. Uh, by the way, Jin Furue didn't have a silicone <laughs> cool, mask it? on. I know because I x-rayed it. I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore! I am done being your partner! So Iba left out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. Chair. <laughs> it's a chair. Funny excuse to reuse Dante's VAs instead of Falco's. Ah, ball. Apparently, during the experimental stage, they used to screw it forcefully into the eye socket. No, they couldn't just put it in normally. Ew. Looks like a ball, but it's actually a prototype version of an eyeball. Yeah. Balloon. Colorful balloons are floating. Cabinet. It's a cabinet. Star. I want to be a star employee. Is what I was going to say, but I decided against it. Shrunk Red Lantern. I remember seeing a kappa there once. No, not really. There are stars on the wall. Posters! Posters, ads, and flyers cover the wall. What the hell is game beef bowl great? Nonsical poster on that wall. Plant pot. Seems difficult to water. Bags. Bunch of bags and grid shapes. Origami chain. Oh, no. Origami chain. Origami chain! Kirby, is there a trophy for ex examining everything in boss's office again? Because that's what I'm doing this for. Over shop curtain, police poster. Uh, plaster figure. Papers and magazines. Not there. No. My senior agent, not there. Uh -huh. I heard that's boss's grandfather. I don't know, I could look at PS4. PS4! Don't fill his head with nonsense. That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. Map. Map on a wall. Do his mask. Penance. Prince was true. Are you going to keep that here? <sighs> Until I get a new boyfriend. Then it's gonna stay there forever. Date, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Good luck! Christmas tree, coat hanger, uh, uh desk. You Boy, that's so juicy gossip. I heard they got transferred to Lemniscate. Okay. Uh huh. Good for them. Hey, I'm your superior, you know. You should all at least pretend you're interested. Isn't Lemniscate where, um, Iris is from? Ryuki, your heart rate is increasing. There is frack! Ah! Tell me, you are imagining a woman's bathhouse, aren't you? Fantasizing about the shiny faucets? <laughs> Why would that part be my fantasy? <gasps> the shiny faucets mean they're new. Stationary bike. Flotation ring. Uh, symbol. I remember Mr. Date telling me. You like to hit that thing when you're feeling stressed out. Inspect right, every boss? object at boss's room. Ugh. Oh no, I wouldn't do something so brutish. I just throw it against the wall. That's even worse. Uh, oh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. It's a darts machine. Oh, happy birthday. Boss, why do you have so much crap I found in your room? Out what that rug actually costs, by the way, something like five hundred million yen. That's true. I confiscated it from a thief. Are you allowed to do that? 
Uh, Iris worked at Lemmaskate in AI1. You don't know if she still does at this point. Uh, so this call. Happy birthday, pumpkins. Uh, big catch flag. Mm. Oh, 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 there was something. Coffee I'm maker. a sucker for anything shiny or black. What about cockroaches, boss? They're shiny and black. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? I remember her saying some factoid about tanukis that got spread around. That's probably what Mr. Doctor was talking about. But what factoid was it? Dogi. Soccer ball. When I see that ball, it reminds me of my boyfriend from high school. Yeah, you seem like the type who'd be into that. What does that mean? Volleyball! Police you officer mannequin. Talk, Ryuki? He's my childhood friend. What? What are you talking about? It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? <laughs> Boss's friend, Mario. I just realized I had my cursor on his crotch. Sorry, Mario. Got everything there. That RC car. goes pretty fast. Oh? How fast does it go? Three million kilometers per second. The universe would collapse if that were true. <laughs> Shells. Uh... I didn't examine everything. Uh. Uh, oh, this side. Okay. Door. It's doorway. Red lantern. Uh, balloon. Star. Tombstone. Shell's wine bottle. Cabinet. Balls ball. Stream- oh my gosh, what is happening? I'm sorry, my stream keeps dropping, guys. I don't know why it does that. I think I got everything. Mm. Yeah, got the door. Unless there is Matroska. Maybe this is like a Matroska doll. That sounds deep, but I don't think that has anything to do with this case. Oh my gosh, big key. What else, what else? Clock. What's wrong? You've been staring. Oh, it's nothing. I don't like broken clocks, why? Got that. Okay, let's just I talk saw to the Dr. News last now. Night. I talked to Boss earlier, too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half. Like it traveled through time and space. All right, any advice on the investigation? Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking. Shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on, my treat, as usual. I've seen Mr. Doctor drunk several times before, but not once have I seen him open his wallet. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. Any advice There's on the a real cozy bar in Omi I know about. I think you'll like it. All the bartenders are sexy women, aren't they? <gasps> How did you know? <laughs> and why Omiya of all places? You don't know? Saitama is hot right now. It's warm at this time of year? That's not what I meant. I've been to Saitama. It's just a prefecture. Saitama is a province located north of Tokyo with a population of red. Saitama and Omiya is the capital of Saitama. Omiya has staff for bullet trains and arenas when Johnny's groups perform. Uh, there are tons of stores dotted in my lake. Omiya is a really fashionable city. Wait, have I not gone to Saitama? Am I thinking of something else, somewhere else? I went to Chiba. Whoopsies. Oh, there was a green. There was a green. There was a green. What was it? Skis. T 
Damn it, what am I missing? Air conditioner. Okay, now I know I got everything. Come on. What else is there? I got the coffee maker, papers, and magazines. I got the sh shogi. Nothing on the floor. Got the RC car. There better not be anything on, like, the other side of Boss's desk. Papers and magazines. Wait, 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 what was that? There was something other- computer. Please, give me the trophy. Are you for real? I'm missing stuff? you wanted to play this game? I did! I just want to get the boss's trophy um, room out of the way first. Okay, let's just talk to boss. How late were you out drinking last night? What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry. Your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a dog, what? boss. Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. Any leads? It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it, but I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So, it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Uh, this is quite the incident. Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast? And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? Because they only turned the power off. Tama, why are you here? Nice and soft. It feels kind of soothing being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. <laughs> Tama, about Tama. Her name is Tama. She's a kind of robot known as an eyeball, and right now I suppose her gender is set to female. She's usually nested in my left eye socket and supports me on investigations. She's my left eye and also my partner. Most of my conversations with Tama are done in my mind. That goes for when she's in my eye socket and while she's out and about like this. Tama, show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? Why did they give her boobs? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Hmm, how about this? Tama's connected to my brain through a wireless link. <laughs> That's how we're able to exchange information while Tama is out of my eye socket. Wait, Tama. I said news, not nudes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking at? I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. <laughs> How are you? It's all right now! Because I am here! Half might! Half for all! We are full-time heroes! Oh my gosh! Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. You seem tired. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Ryuki, you're exhausted. You can do it. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? Who programmed Tama? Close eyesight. Wait, just look. This is how I appear in Tama's vision. Close I got it, eyesight. Tama. You can close it. About the video linked in the QR code. Wanna see it again? 
No, I don't. I don't. Ah! Get out. No. Ah! Don't you think it's wonderful you're talking about it? What? I don't know what I I pushed. Why does she have poops? It's an Uchikoshi game. But I Aiba doesn't. What did I push? Oh, Tama's room. Whew. Uh, you can communicate with Tama, ask for life advice, or dress her in different clothes. An experienced AI will give you life advice. Worried about money? I want five bajillion yen. What did you say? You don't really have worries, do you? Uh, is it bad if you don't have any? Are you malfunctioning? You have no worries. Why did you come here? Uh, I want to see you. I guess that's possible. Thank you. Me too. I was starting to get feelings for you too. No, I just wanted to check out the room, but okay. So please stay by my side. Please. Promise? If you sell me at a thrift shop, I'm going to hang you. Hmm? Dress up. I didn't say it selectively. Change your outfit here. Different outfits will be added to bonus menu as you level up your evaluation class. They can be purchased using eyeballs. Costumes are now available. Okay. I'll dress up the way. Uh. Yeah, looks good. Wait, how do I? Um, what's my evaluation? Determine one star. Hmm. Hmm. Sinker class C three. Okay. Uh, let's go back to Thomas' room. Wow, it takes forever to load. Boss's cleavage. I have never been in a softer, comfier place. Wow. Half might is at half strength. Half might is at half strength. Go beyond half might. It's your turn. Sarari Bukoe! Purusu Ultra! Life advice. Worried about health? Yes. Mm-hmm. Are you sick? Um... My you-know-what is. My stomach is. My body's okay. It's pretty bad. Well, my arms and nose have been tingly, so I'll just say it's pretty bad. Ah. I see. I can't let that slide. You consulted a doctor, right? No. Then I can't help you. Yo, how did you know? All I can do is give you some solace. I'll be waiting, so come back whenever. This is very interesting. I wonder if it, like, has to do with anything related to the game, though. Oh, wait, uh, how do I buy stuff? File? I don't want a file. Okay, I'll just go back. No, thank you. Okay, he just closed the video. Thank you. Saw that video last night, and what is it, Ryuki? You saw blue people. The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream too. Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the view cube video and the link got several million views. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. 
Okay, then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. That sounds very dangerous. Yes. Any data saved from today on will be lost. How convenient. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeiji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes. I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. No! Ota's place. No! I don't want to see Ota again. Iris seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. Right. Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameiji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. bored oh man, now here. I want some ramen. There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always. Well, okay. I'm getting really tired and hungry, so I'm gonna save this here. Save current game, yes. It yeah, is saved. Okay. I wanna go to bonus. Data is saved. Doo -doo -doo -boo -boo -doo. You can use eyeballs here to purchase bonus content. By progressing the story, more bonus content will be unlocked. I want... What's Dream Album? Oh. Ah, they're all hidden so you don't get spoiled. Interesting. Bonus hints. Oh, psh. Oh, during Somnia, choose one option that hasn't chosen before. Clear Somnia with more than one second left. Find a hidden item. Grow a new eyebally into an adult. New costume, improve evaluation result. Dream album A, clear Somnia with more than. Dream album B, find five items that are hidden in Somnia. Ah! I didn't find five items in the first one, though. Gosh darn it. Oh, I guess my evaluation is not high enough. I want to find things. I want more eyeballs. Maybe it'll unlock as I um, go on. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I'm getting real dizzy and I really want some ramen now that I said it. There's a mode later on that makes it easier. Okay, then I'm not going to worry about it now. I'm just going to play through the story just to get through the story and then I'll like... um. I'll do a uh, trophy hunting, achievement hunting at the ends. But yeah, this was this is really interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes. No more dizzy toast, please. Yeah, I need some salt and food in my belly. So um, that's gonna be it for me tonight. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good weekend. Bye.